I'm Keith. In this video, we are going to discuss using the sales stage templates. These are PDF templates that are available to assist with your CRM implementation. Okay, so here I've downloaded the PDF version of the form. Uh, you can see it looks like this with the example sales pipeline, the sales stage, the prospect. Now, there's two forms available for download. One of them is populated and one of them is blank. So the blank one is what you're going to want to use to draft out your sales stages. This is a form that our professional services group uses when they work with our customers. So this form is now available to you to uh, work internally to identify your sales stages. Now, definitely recommend that you spend a little bit of time thinking through this. Creating sales stages is a great way for your sales organization to save time and improve communications when everybody knows exactly what just a few brief words can mean about where a deal is in your, your pipeline funnel. So the way that you use this form is that you'll have a sales stage, and you give a name to that stage, a brief description of what that stage means, and then down here you'll list what action is required to move it to the next stage. So in our example, this will start to make some sense. So in the suspect stage, we've defined this as a, a targeted sales lead. And to advance that to the next stage, usually there's some sort of phone call or uh, an email perhaps to, to advance them uh, to the next stage. Uh, in, this ex in this process right here, this is actually known as the DNA sales process from uh, Patrick Hansen in his uh, DNA selling. Uh, so he uses these, these stages right here, suspect, qualified, qualified meaning that they're a, a qualified sales opportunity. Uh, you've reached decision makers, you've identified the opportunity, and uh, you have matching needs. Now, if the deal falls apart in this stage, you would want to have a dead stage. Now, a lot of times we see people who have just one sell stage for dead. Um, you'll notice as we go through this that we actually recommend having three, dead, hold, and lost, based on when that prospect left your sales funnel. So let's let's run through this. Suspect, qualified. After they become qualified, if the prospect actively engages in the sales process, we might call them a prospect. So uh, in your own sales process, you might change the words that you use right here, but you should probably follow this idea, this being a very cold lead, this being one that's a little bit warmer, and this is one that is actively engaging. Now, in this particular sales process, we're using the term hot to identify somebody who you've deli delivered a presentation to, a proposal's been sent, or that the time frame has been confirmed. Using a stage like this is a really easy way in your sales process to identify when a proposal has been sent. Generally, in, in most sales organizations, you're going to want to keep track of how many sales proposals went out, how many did you close, that sort of thing. Being able, tracking this with a separate distinct sales stage is a great way to do that. So you might call this hot uh, quote sent or something along those lines. Now, you'll notice that we have this, this out arrow here, meaning that somebody can leave your sales funnel and go on hold if they don't make it to proposal or even if they you know kind of just drop off the map. If they stop responding, or if the project gets delayed, you're not quite ready to kill it, you might put it into a hold. This may not be a dead stage, but this might be um, you know, something that you follow up within you know, 30 days, 60 days, something like that. Now, after they go hot, uh, we recommend here in this process using the stage of pending. And in our example here, we use the... Uh, we identify this as verbal or written commitment to purchase. Now, this is a good definition to clarify with your team because if you have a definition like this where you know that you've got a verbal commitment, then you can actually do some things with your forecasting with your sales stage to forecast deals in this pending stage, whatever, whatever term you would actually use to forecast those deals at a higher percentage. Then, of course, after something goes pending, it, it's going to go won or it's going to go lost. Lost, again, would be a dead stage. And, and notice here that in the example of lost, it means that they chose a competitor or they took themselves out of contention. Maybe they you know, went with an internal solution or something like that. This lost versus won gives you a, a, a good way to delineate between deals that you won versus deals that you lost. And separating hold, lost, and dead makes it real easy to keep track of leads that maybe were just bad leads and were never actually qualified versus deals that you actually lost. So download the template. You have this as a sample to go from. 
we've given you a blank template so you can use ours right next to it and you can create your own cell stages and of course you can mark this up if you're working with our ProServe group uh, fill this out and you'll either talk through this or fax this in or email this in once you have it filled out but this will be a good place to start in designing your sales process we recommend that you start with sales stages before you get into the sales process and talk this over with your team to make sure you get the buy-in and use words in here that that can help you crystallize the language inside your team. It will help you improve communication. It will help you save time. Thank you.